Hi, I'm Don Block. I'm Executive Director at Greater Pittsburgh Literacy Council, and we like to call it GPLC for short. We have about a $4 million organization, but it's grown greatly over the years with the support of a very active board of directors. Uh, a lot of grassroots uh, groups, when they start up, they're very filled with their passion about the mission, and they're very involved in the nitty-gritty of the program details and so there isn't a lot of thought given to fundraising or administration at that point. I'm Jackie Kalake Hogue and I'm the chair of the board of directors for GPLC. As a board member I'm, I'm proud of the efforts that our entire board has put into sustaining and growing the organization mainly through our fundraising and development efforts. Well I joined the board in 2003 and at that time the attitude about fundraising was a little more at an arm's length. Over a period of years, the board began to get a more full ownership of the whole fundraising function. We were fortunate to receive a foundation grant. So part of that grant was to pay an outside fundraising consultant to come and work with us on the actual steps of how do you increase giving from individuals. There was uh, a small committee to do some of the research to analyze past giving and uh, kind of project where we thought we could uh, develop funds you know from now until the future. Uh, here are a few of the ways that the board is, is involved in fundraising right now. They are writing letters uh, to donors, they are making phone calls to donors, not always to ask for help. Who stops in the day of email and Twitter and Facebook to pick up the phone and say thank you? And sometimes in calls that I've made, there's a, there's a silence. Because you think the, don the donor is expecting uh, an ask. Thank you for your donation in the past. Now would you contribute this? And, and we don't do that. We make it a point of not doing that. Over a five year period, they've helped to grow gifts from individuals from about $50,000 to about $200,000. And this is happening in the time of the country's big recession. Probably most uh, directly and, and probably the biggest impact that the board has had is with an event that's run by board members directly called our Trivia Bowl. The board members launched this new event, the Trivia Bowl, and they decided that staff had enough event planning on their hands already. So they decided to do all the arrangements and planning and mechanics of the event themselves as volunteers. And over the five years, there's been raised about a quarter of a million dollars for our organization from the Trivia Bowl. The board also launched a capital project in 2011 and raised $400,000 above and beyond the regular operating budget for a uh, expansion of our facilities. I think one thing that other boards can learn from GPLC's efforts is uh, that a little planning goes a long way. As more and more students come to us asking for help to get their GED or high school diploma, and more and more immigrants and refugees need English as a second language, we're now in a position to respond to them thanks to the board's involvement. The lesson that we'd like to share with other nonprofits is that with the right leadership in place and with some outside help, you can move the culture of the board to be much more comfortable with this fundraising function. And the board members really, I mean, if you think about it, they're on the board because they have a passion for the mission of the organization. So in terms of, of uh, rolling their sleeves up and doing some of the legwork, especially when it comes to uh, raising funds, really is an extension of that mission. 